G'day, Gavin from Aussie Bush Pens. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I turn a whiskey smoker. This is a piece of black butt, a great Australian timber. Not my idea, I got this from HodgePodge. There's a bit of a link to his YouTube video in there, down in the description. Make sure you go and see Harry and Robert. Um, I will also have a link for the stankers or the strainer that you can use. Um, yes, it's an associate link, so if you purchase through that, I will get a small kickback, but that's up to you, don't care. Anyway, let's get into this and have some fun. I don't think you need to see me cut the timber down. I've got some old black buck fence railing here, which I've cut down. I cut down into the blocks, 95 by 95. And then as you can see, I've marked the center, both sides, and I've punched it. It doesn't need to be this thick, which is 50 mil, or just under, because on average, you're only gonna end up about 30 mil thick with your final smoker. But this is what I got lying around. And rather than going in the pizza oven, I thought I'd use it up. Once you've got your blanks all prepared, um, so do, if you're doing this in production mode, you just mount this between centers, and then you're gonna do each stage at one step at a time. And mounting it between centers allows for a quick production style. Once you've got it down to round, then I'm just gonna take these chip outs and get rid of some of this cracked stuff off the surface and put a tenon on for the chuck. So now what you do, take that one out, ready for that first stage, put your next one in and off you go. One of the things I've done is I've made this slightly concave and so that way when it sits on the glass it kind of centres and might not slide off as easy. So alright, on to the next bit, time to mount up the chuck. Right, this is where I use the highly accurate measuring method of, I want the disc that sits on the glass about, oh, yay big, and the little smoking chimney about, oh, yay big. So that means all this stuff here is excess. So I just cut it off. So this is where having the two Jacobs chucks comes really in handy. Righto. So here's a trick for those of you who don't have two Jacobs chuck yet. If you have a drill press, you have a second Jacobs chuck. You just need to take it out and you've got your second Jacobs chuck to use. And then I can put this back in and use my drill press again later. Because if you're doing production, you want to be able to swap them back and forth. Now, for the 
uh, strainers that I've linked in, you're going to want a half inch and a, either a 5 8 or a 16 16 mil. So drill them all them in. So you can do each one together rather than having to swap everything out. So this is the 16 mil. Goes in about, I don't know, the AD. I prefer to clear this out for a fair bit so it doesn't blow out the bottom too much, if at all. And it's through. Now you've done that bit, when you uh, have drilled out, sometimes you get a little bit of chip out. I don't really like leaving that there. So I use a bit of the non-stick cloth. I'd try not to do it up too tight to not leave jaw impressions in the smoker, because that's the part you're going to see. I leave those jaw marks in there. That's just part of the what it is. This is one of those close enough is good enough. And then I just give it a light scrape. Get your stinker or strainer. Stinker is what they're sold as on Amazon. The link I've provided in the description. Put that in there. And you have a finished whiskey smoker. Happy days. Enjoy. <laughs>